Every day, we argue about climate change, giving our truth, half truths, and unfiltered truths. It is time we realize that behind every argument we put across lies our ignorance emerging from our daily routines that makes us turn into ruthless masters to the beautiful art that God has given to us. God himself is not a dictator. He gives us freedom to master ourselves. We dream of becoming adults. As we grow older, we become free. Free to make decisions. Free to clutter our lives with the resources around. But how free do we really become? What will we teach the children who really need role models more than critics? With every step you make in environmental conservation, you make your world a little more greener. An animal somewhere will be able to survive in the wilderness. That's a wholesome preparation for a lifetime teaching the children to conserve nature. And when each one of us sweeps in front of their doorstep, eventually the whole world will be clean. When the polar ice caps break off the mainland and float into the sea to melt, we still have faith. When the sea is encroaching, submerging coastal islands, making them disappear before the residents very eyes we still have faith when the forests are being consumed by illegal logging and wildfires in dry heat leaving them in desperate shape we still have faith when the seas are being intoxicated resulting to the risk of serious long-term contamination we still have faith. When irrigation channels dry up, making pests and parasites thrive, ending up causing disease and destruction, decimating populations, we still have faith. When the rate of unemployment and the cost of living rises, forcing people to seek illegal sources of income, we still have faith. When there is insecurity across the land, hunger, illiteracy, ignorance, and emaciated people struggling with poverty, we still have faith. When people make steps towards environmental justice, embracing the call for sustainability, our faith grows stronger and stronger. Global warming is now a threat to the whole planet and its effects leave some plants and animal kinds barely surviving. Productive lands are turning barren. Streams are running dry. Rainfall patterns are unpredictable with declining amounts of annual rainfall and the glaciers on the mountain tops and in the poles are on the verge of disappearing. If we do not change our direction, we are likely to end where we are headed. We should act in time, now, in order to bring resilience to our environment. Let's change our practices, or otherwise, we may soon discover that we have lost paradise a second time. My name is Lovejoy Kisali, and thank you for your time.